All right, a lot of fun. So we're all going to be looking our best for this big wedding because we're all going to be out there. And wherever you're going, if you've got a big event, you've got to look your best. We're all trying to lose weight. Oftentimes, we can't dump those last couple of pounds. So our good friend, image consultant, Sarah Shaw, is here to show us how you can drop those pounds just by changing what you wear. How are you? Great. Thanks for having me. This is something that every woman needs to know because there are certain things that make you look heavier. Mom always tells us that makes you look heavy, you yes. know, and those are the <laughs> things you don't want to wear. But there are some things that can slim you without using a squisher, without using Spanx, without using things like that. It's just all about drawing in the eye, right? Exactly. And every outfit that we put together today, there's no Spanx underneath. So this is the real what? body. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Okay. Let's talk about our first model. We've got a before picture of our model to show you and then we're going to show you what she looks like after. Tell me about this. So this is Michelle. She just had a baby um, three months ago mm -hmm. and so her issue is her hips and her thighs. Okay, and so she, hips and thighs are the problem area. Right. She used to be a size 2. She's now a size 8. So for her this is a big change. I love size 8. <laughs> I'd be <laughs> happy with size 8. <laughs> and too. here she is now. You look great. Tell me what you did. What kind of tricks are we using? So what we did, we went to Macy's and we got these great jeans. These are wider leg than the ones that she started out with. Okay. And so that um, doesn't emphasize her hips as much. We also added some puffy sleeves. And what that does is it makes her shoulders as wide as her hips. Okay. So now it doesn't look like her hips are way bigger than the rest of her body. Because you're trying to create balance, right? Exactly. And then the waist, the it vest, really accentuates the waist. Doesn't it? So her waist is actually lower than you see in the picture. Um, she looks great. Doesn't she? I love it. I love it. The smallest part the of a woman's body is your rib cage. Yeah. So when you can emphasize that. You're doing good. Um, you're doing great. All right, let's take a look at our next model before. This is a before picture. What's the problem here? So this is Beverly, and she's also a very fit woman, but she feels self-conscious about her tummy. And so what she does is what a lot of women do, which is wear something too big or too loose to camouflage right. it, right? We're trying to hide it. You look real boxy in this picture, but not anymore. Take a look at the after. <laughs> Very slim in terms. There's a body under that jacket. Exactly. So the thing that's great about this dress is it has all these little flat pleats across the whole thing. Okay. And so that camouflages the tummy. You see the pleats and you think, oh, it's the pleats. It's not the tummy. I love that idea. Right? And you look absolutely gorgeous. We all are always, I'm always hiding, but sometimes it's better not to hide. You know, anytime you hide, you look 20, 30 pounds heavier than you really are. So anytime you can wear something fitted, not too tight, so that you're creating more rolls than yeah. we already start with. Yeah. Right? I know. It's trouble. Okay, now we've got another model, which happens to be you. Because <laughs> right? you, as an image consultant, you know what you're dealing with. This is Sarah before. And Sarah, tell me about your issues. What's the deal with you? Because we have similar body types, I think, you and I. We do. So I have a very thick torso. I mm -hmm. don't really have a waist. So my shoulders and my waist and my hips um, are about the same width. So, so what before I did, you were boxy, now you're not. Right. So what I did in this dress is I um, created a waist that mm -hmm. I don't have by cinching my ribcage. And then I created an A-line on the skirt. So um, I created hips that I don't really have. And then V's always make you just look thinner than you really are. And talk about your sleeves a little bit because that is added flair. Right, so it's all about the distraction. I want you to look everywhere <laughs> except here. So I'm going to distract you with my sleeves, with my jewelry, with my shoes. So this is really an afterthought. I think that is a great look for you. Beautiful. And really, you've got to take all of these things into consideration when you're dressing. You've got to check the way that you've got your neckline. You've got to check the way that you've got your shoulders poised. And you've got to talk about the length of your skirts and things like that. So these are something that we all take into consideration all the time. In fact, I was talking to Sarah earlier, and I was like, I have a squisher on today because I wear a squisher every single day of the week. So that's the way it goes. And of course, thanks to Sarah Shaw, she is our image consultant and she does a great job always presenting us with new ideas about how to stay thin and look your best. And if you would like to get in touch with Sarah, her phone number is on the screen there for you. It is 713-686-8587. You can email her as well or you can go to sarahshaw.com. And also, she is Twittering and she is on Facebook as well. So many different things to take into consideration when we're trying to, you know, make ourselves look better. Like I just sat up 10 times straighter than I was a few moments ago because now <laughs> I'm self-conscious. But it really is a big issue because we all have different body sizes that we're trying to work with. And, 
you can really play with your shape by wearing the right things. You really can. It can make a huge difference. And when you are feeling great about yourself, then you will make better choices mm -hmm. about what you eat, right? And take a little bit more time for some exercise. It makes a big difference. Well, thank you so much for coming by today for your great tips. Thank Always you. Always good to see you.